Well, it happened again, folks. A man that police say killed a motorist in Dallas and killed another victim in Cedar Hill, Texas, is in the country illegally, and he had been deported three times. Dallas County authorities say the suspect, Juan Navarro Rios, gave him a fake name. He has an extensive criminal history. He was convicted of assault in 1995. A year later, he was convicted of hindering prosecution and deported. But that didn't stop him. By 2009, he was deported again for re-entering the country and falsely claiming he was a citizen. The following year, he was prosecuted in Georgetown, Texas, for vehicle burglary. He went to prison, was released, and was once again deported in 2014. That didn't stop him. Now, after murdering two people, Juan Navarro Rios, the triple deportee, is once again behind bars. Now, here's the unpleasant reality we need to face. Murder victims like these in Texas mean nothing to politicians like Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama in the Democrat Party. And they certainly mean nothing to so-called pro-immigration activist groups. The Democrats' agenda is to give so-called compassion, so-called sanctuary and actual tax dollars to those who brazenly and repeatedly break our laws. Any serious attempt to get control of our southern border or punish those who breach it is met with vicious outrage. And if you demand change, they call you bigoted and racist, xenophobic and all the rest. The question facing you this November is, are you fed up with this enough yet to do something about it.